the sparkling sphere problem. Hmm. Ow. It is I, Peg the Bold. A brave Sir Cat. <laughs> We're called the, the Knights, Knights of the Round Table. Because we totally love going around and around and around. Looks like whoever needs our help can't count on us right now. Counting! That's it, you amazing cat! On the count of three, we'll push apart from each other. Ready? One, two, three! Maybe if we count by twos instead. Two, four, six! It worked! Solve problem solved! The problem is solved! We solve the problem! What's the matter? Usually Ramon helps us. Now we're going to have to help him without him helping us. Helping him help me out here. Uh, let's just take this one step at a time. <gasps> or two steps at a time. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. Do this without singing. Okay, we're looking for a sparkling sphere. That says, help! A sphere you want? What do you think I look like? That sphere loving dragon who lives in the cave? So you can't help us? We'd give anything to find it. Anything? I do like those helmets. We'd be happy to give you our helmets if you can guide us to the sparkling sphere. Hey, good hinge quality on the visors. What about the sparkling sphere? Uh, right. Sparkling sphere. <laughs> That's the same blue cube you tried to palm off on us before. Not a sparkling sphere. Oh, okay. There's your sparkling sphere. Sorry for the mix-up. And see? It floats. Briefly. A sphere is round, like a ball. That's a cube. Six flat sides and all the same size. This is the latest in sphere technology. New and improved, so it never rolls away. Uh-uh, not buying it. You could call that thing Horace J. Flotz Blossom the third for all I care. It would still be a cube. Horace J. Flotz Blossom? The third. It just came to me. Mermaid! Did I hear you mention a sparkling sphere? Yes! Have you seen it floating round here? Oh, I haven't, but... And we're back to the singing. A sparkling sphere, not cube and not cone. Floating in flight means one thing alone. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. You're seeking the mighty wizard from home. Trying to find the kindly Ramon. Oi. Ramon is in trouble, but we don't know why. Or what, where, or how, he just floated by. <gasps> Ramon is in trouble? Nice.
knights have such spirit. I'm going to give you two gifts to bring you good luck on your quest. A diamond? Yes, but it's also called a rhombus. A rhombus is a flat shape that has four sides of equal length. Rhombus! <gasps> it likes when you call it a rhombus. And knowing what to call shapes can be key to getting places in this world. And this is a rectangular prism. It's a solid shape that's got a rectangle on every side. You can't get more rectangular than that. What's that you got there? A rectangular prism? I'll make you a fair trade for it. One blue cube, newly sparkled. Be careful. This rectangular prism has magical powers. Magical powers? Whatever you point it at will get out of your way. All right, you twisted my arm. Two cubes and a pyramid. Wow. Fine. I can tell when I'm not wanted. Thanks for these gifts, Mermaid. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Brave Knights of the Round Table to the castle. The throne room is back there. But how are we going to get past all these bows blocking our path? Kat, you're mm. brilliant! We use the rectangular prism to get the poles out of our way! Great! Can I just finish? All yours. Wow! How'd we ever get by without one of these magical rectangular prisms? Life was hard back then. Maybe there's a key around here someplace. A key! That's it, you brilliant genius face! Mermaid said that knowing the names of shapes is key to getting places. I bet she was trying to tell us that this is the key to getting in there. The rhubarb? No, uh, Rhonda. Mm, ra, Rom ra, rhombus! Ay, carambus! Aha! We found you, your highness. We, the Knights of the Round Table, are here to rescue the Wizard Ramon. Even if we have to look in every nook, in every cranny, under every pig. Excuse me, Your Majesty. Thank you. We shall find him, for he is here. <laughs> for he is out there. And sorry about all that. We'll be back to clean all this up later. <laughs> was fun, and at the same time, not. Cat, look! It's the dragon's cave. Of course, the dragon loves spheres. Ramon, we're coming to save you. Soon-ish. Not a problem. Can we just stop for a second and sing a song about how awesome this rectangular prism is? It's a... Uh, we should probably just save Ramon. Definitely! Hey there, dice. Care for a game of bows? We're not in the mood to play, dragon. Where is the sparkling spear holding wizard Ramon? I'm under here. Under where? You said underwear. <laughs> I said <laughs> underwear. 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 <laughs> <laughs> under oh. Ramon, can you get out of that spear? Need sparkle. First, Ramon's totally lost his sparkle. And he is totally stuck inside a totally spot sphere. I am totally freaking out. Cat's right. I should count backwards from ten by twos to calm down. No. Count forward by twos to twenty. Everybody who believes in wizards, and I'll regain my sparkle. Everybody who believes in wizards needs to count forward by twos. But there's only one, two, three of us here. Where are we going to find more people to count with us? Did you check the pool? Yay! Okay, everybody. And you, too. If you believe in wizards, count by twos to 20. And if you don't believe in wizards, ta-da! There's a wizard. What more proof do you need? So let's count. Better? So by knowing about shapes and what to call them and how to count by twos, we totally saved our friend the mighty wizard Ramon. Math can restore your sparkle. And so problem solved. The problem is solved. We solved the problem. Everything is awesome. Problem solved. Great work, brave knights. Ramon, I 
was wondering, why do you float around in a sphere anyway? Good question. Well, I tried floating in a cylinder. I tried floating in a cylinder. But I didn't find a cylinder. Didn't find a cylinder. Then I tried a pyramid. Then he tried a pyramid. But I gave that up, that's what I did. He gave that up, that's what he did. A rectangular prism, cube, so. Under there. Chicken coop open. Didn't the farmer say not to leave the coop open no matter what? Because the chickens will get out and they're 100 chickens, and that's a lot? Looks like we've got a really big problem. <laughs>